another fisherman another yeah. day. Go, go on the other side. Releasing fish is so important to keeping our resource healthy. Anglers must learn to do it properly to ensure the fish's survival. The first thing is to cut down on the use of treble hooks. Trebles often snag the fish and do unnecessary harm to their slime coat, scales, and eyes. Lures with three sets of treble hooks can be modified by removing the belly treble. This change won't hurt the action of the lure. Some anglers find it easier to snip two of the three hook points than replacing the entire hook. An even better modification is to exchange the hooks with single hooks. These changes make releasing so much easier and quicker. With crankbaits, remove the front treble and swap out the back hook with a single. This makes it so much more weedless and it doesn't spoil the action. Now you can cast into the brushiest cover without fear of snagging up. One of the best hooks for replacing stock hooks is the Daichi D28Z trailer hook. It offers a large eye that easily slips on split rings. Its bleeding bait red color enhances the fish catching potential by adding the illusion of blood. Another bonus is that single hooks rarely tangle in landing nets. Going barbless is another important step to assist a fish release. Many Canadian provinces and some fishing lodges are enforcing a barbless policy. Often going barbless helps hookups, especially with large plugs sporting huge hooks. When the fish is boat side, all that's needed is a simple twist of the wrist and the fish is free. Again, if you don't wish to change the hooks, simply crush the barb with a pair of pliers. Barbless hooks are available, but sizing is difficult to match with the original. Since they are the only link to your catch, keeping them needle sharp is critical. After each catch or contact with structure, check the hooks for any wear or bent hook points. A quick hone with a sharpener will keep them in perfect order. Many worry that the fish will easily slip off without a barb, but by maintaining steady pressure, it won't escape. Once the catch is landed, you'll appreciate how easy it is to unhook the fish. After a quick photo or two, slip the fish gently back into the water and allow it to revive itself before letting go. Let's make sure we do our part to ensure all fish are put back properly. This will help us enjoy great fishing for a long time to come.